TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got quite a market to the upside. S&Ps right now positive by 17 points, trading at 28.56. We get the Dow up 147 points, trading at 25,679. That's after the Dow being down more than 200 points coming into the early morning futures action. NASDAQ up 94 points, trading at 78.28. Gold contract up a buck 40 at 1297.70. Oil up 32 cents, trading at 62.10. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield 10 year note up 10 ticks, 124.20. 30 year bond up 21 ticks, 149.27. And the dollar index up 18 ticks at 97.340. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So the Dow kind of been hanging up at these levels for the last two hours since noon, approaching that session high we had, 25,681. At about noon, we're about 10 points away from that level right now in the Dow 30. NASDAQ 100, we're above session highs, 75,25, not that long ago, 9.15 this morning, trading at 73,55. You're talking about 170 NASDAQ 100 points from that level. S&P's 2857. Highs of the session, basically just where we are right now, made it about noon. Crude oil trading higher, oh, there we go, crude oil trading higher for most of the morning session. We made highs at 62.33 at about 11.30. We had EIA numbers this morning, 62.06 currently for the price of June crude. There's your gold contracts and volatility this morning as well. Of course, we had President Trump, Trump coming out and saying that they will postpone any Auto tariffs for approximately six months at least while negotiations continue. The market liking to hear any type of ratcheting down of those auto any tariffs. And there's your volatility on the tariff news as you have the euro spiking higher, dollar spiking low, lower, euro pulling back in kind of the middle of that bar, 112.07 currently. And speaking of the VIX, how about it? 16.75. Didn't take long to pull back. Putting this on a little bit of a longer time frame, 16.75. We ended last week at under 16. We, of course, got that acceleration on Monday's negative action in the Dow to 21.20. But it doesn't take long. 16.74 on that volatility index. Stay tuned, folks. we got our man Dave White coming up right now at the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Shouldn't be an exciting couple hours to finish up the day. Stay tuned. Dave White coming up right now.